A second boy has died following a weekend shootout near Atlantic Station. Now police are asking for the public's help. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Christine Spiro. Investigators released this surveillance video hoping somebody will recognize the people responsible for the shooting. News Edge reporter Eric Perry joins us now live from the scene. Eric, a devastating development with that second death confirmed today. Yeah, Tom Christine, this has been upgraded to a double homicide as we have a 12 year old dead and now a 15 year old dead as well. Police say that the suspected shooters could be seen celebrating as they made their escape on Marta. It's difficult. Uh, to investigate uh, a death of a child. A second young life cut short following Saturday shooting near Atlantic Station. 15 year old Cameron Jackson died from his injuries after six people were shot near the 17th Street Bridge. His mother is still shaken by the news. She told us over the phone her baby was homeschooled, wanted to be a professional boxer, and loved science. 12 year old Zion Charles died from his injury Saturday. Police say video shows Charles with the suspects moments before the shooting. He's believed to have been killed by someone in his own friend group. All the bullets were meant for Cameron. Zion took the bullet. He's deceased on the scene. And then we have the other uh, victims that was also shot. Everything was directed to Cameron. The male in the black and the yellow hoodie, he is the main perpetrator, the main suspect. Atlanta police say they're also looking for a second shooter, seen here in images wearing blue and white. Camera seemed to be, and his two uh, friends, riding through the area en route to Atlanta Station to enjoy the festivities. Police say Jackson was the only target. This surveillance video shows the group after the shooting at the Art Center, Marta Station. You can hear them talking on the train. You can hear them talking and celebrating, talking about the gunshots. During the train ride, they antagonize different customers. Uh, they flash their waistband. Uh, as gesturing like they're going to pull their weapon out. It's all about the youth. Uh, I feel like um, we got to get them the respect that they need for them to actually give us respect. Christopher Welsh was at Wednesday's news conference. He came out as he hopes to make a difference with a youth center in low income communities. It starts with the center. Everybody, I feel that like everybody answer to most questions is the kids don't have anything to do. You know, so we need a job for them. We need somewhere where they can go and they can exploit their talent. Coming after Thanksgiving and headed to Christmas, uh, the last thing that they should be prepared for is a funeral of their children. Yeah, it's still hard to really wrap your head around this. Crime Stoppers increased its reward to $10,000. As for the other four people that were injured in the shooting, they've been treated and released, but police just need your help. You saw the two images of the suspects. There is a third suspect as well. Police are working to identify that person also tonight. At Atlantic Station, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.